Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of That's All Funny. Uh, episode number, where are we at? 674. We're doing it another day, another dollar. Um, not, I don't know. No, nothing's been up here. Just trying to find the better camera angle. I look like shit. I don't know. I, uh, oh my god, my camera angle. I look like shit. Oh my god. No. My chair, I have it higher up because I've been, I don't know, man. I've been like sleeping and I feel like I've been having back problems and it's annoying. It's probably just because my weight has ballooned up like rowdy from just being sedentary. And then trying to find the balance with the Adderall and <clears throat> an anxiety medication. And I might have found it. Stay tuned for uh, that information tomorrow or the next day. I might have found out what medication might help me that I do have in my arsenal. But um, yeah, that's all that's uh, really going on here. Let's look at the news. Uh, so uh, I've been seeing a lot of this about a Chris Tyson, an employee of Mr. Beast, who's been known for being trans and buying Lolly Con from Shadman, has been caught sexually messaging a different 14 year old. Uh, so apparently, this dude who uh, was a part of Mr. Beast's uh, posse and turned into a chick, left his family, is now texting minors, allegedly. Again, uh, I know this person, uh, what is their name again? Chris Tyson. They did de delete all their tweets from their Twitter, which doesn't make a very good case for their innocence. But, uh, you know. I, I was talking to my niece about this because we were saying, like, why why do these YouTubers and streamers all turn into uh, pedos like Dr. Disrespect or, you know, uh, I don't know, other other streamers, right? They're always that Colleen Ballinger or whatever. They're all just allegedly texting younger people. And it's like, what is it? Is it power? Is it that they're into it? Because, I mean, I've... I don't know. I've, I've messaged people, but they're of legal age, at least like 23. Like that's young compared to me. You know, a, a 20 year old or a 23 year old is young when I'm 36. So I can't imagine these people that are like my age or 28 and they're trying to talk to a 13 year old. Like that's just or a 14 year old, right? Whatever. That's just, uh, I don't know. That's insane. I need, I need something to drink. <laughs> I'm a. Celsius sponsor me. My pee uh, is golden from your drinks. Celsius sponsor me. But um, yeah, I don't know. All I know is um, I'm trying to find the right medication so I don't want to bite my tongue out uh, involuntarily at night. But uh, let's take a look at more news here. Uh, Harris campaign secures enough delegates for Democratic nomination. So it seems like uh, Kamala Harris is going to be the next um, Democratic nominee and run against Donald Trump. We still haven't heard from Joe Biden. There, there's rumors that Joe Biden is dead <laughs> and like he's just been he's been dead for like five or six days. And any, you know, because he tweeted out that he's dropping out of the race, he didn't show himself he had a video but that could have been pre-recorded at any time and, and for you know contingency whatever and then um he did a call to kamala while she was at uh some sort of press conference or something or a rally and it sounded like a robocall like or again him pre-recording himself uh saying stuff and then that um person the leader of israel showed up and uh biden didn't meet with them so the theory is or the <laughs> yeah the theory is that biden's either really sick somewhere or dead and they're just not saying it and it's like why why would you i don't know why you would hide that news you know what i mean it, it didn't make sense unless they're gonna i don't know find a way to make him like a martyr and uh have him show up somewhere and get shot and it'd be this whole like oh this is the, what we need for the democrats to win because this one ups <laughs> it's like a AEW match this one ups the uh, assassination attempt 
by this actually being a successful attempt and um you know helping us clutch win the election i don't know it, politics is crazy you know i i watched i remember watching house of cards and thinking man paul like the show's badass like with kevin spacey uh man i wish he was still around he is kind of still around but he isn't but how like man politics is crazy there's no way all this shit goes down and then you start like watching politics closer and closer and you're like nah dude this is how politics goes down like People do die or people do lose their jobs because of this or take the fall and then just lose their lives. I don't know. It's it's insane. And then you see all these like CEOs jumping off of buildings, <laughs> like, like the Bed Bath & Beyond guy and then um, some other dude. But I don't know. It's pretty crazy. Next year on the news, um, Google scraps plan to remove cookies from Chrome. Um I think I saw the article and it was like, this is met with mixed, rev- mixed, mixed demands. And not uh, cause apparently cookies help track what you're viewing. So, uh, you know, cookies are used to track your shit and it helps the ads get catered to you. And it helps the advertisers make more money cause you see the ads and you want to buy whatever's there. So it, it just tracks you those cookies. They're not like the good cookies that, um, you know, not my uh, mom used to make. My mom um, wouldn't make cookies. She would just uh, eat Almond Joys and smoke uh, Salem cigarettes. I w- wish she made cookies. Um, my grandma would make uh, arroz uh, con leche, which is like rice milk. And that shit's fucking good. Man, I miss it. I-, I tried to make some the other day, and it just tasted like <laughs> like, like cereal. You know what I mean? It didn't taste uh, all that good, but it wasn't bad. It was at least enough to uh, reminisce about it. But I don't care, man, if Google has cookies. Like, at this point, all of the apps we have, uh, you know, track us in some way or another. So who cares? You know, like, if they want to know I'm into um, fucking Asian robots or whatever, like, go ahead. You know, just fucking... Uh, let them have that information that way uh, they can cater my ads so I can buy more Asian robotic uh, figurines or whatever the fuck uh, it, it wants me to do. Or so I could have the sticker mule ad, you know, because I, oh, well, it disappeared, but, you know, or or this uh, these l- loans because I tried to take out a personal loan because I'm fucking broke. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Next year on the news, um, oh shit, there's the Barbie with Black Down Syndrome. So, uh, Barbie, Mattel introduces two first of their kind inclusive Barbie dolls. And one of them is the first blind Barbie, which, I mean, if you're looking here, she looks pretty hot. I don't know how she can wear her makeup, but she has, I, I don't know why you would walk in high heels too if you were blind. But she's a pretty hot looking Barbie for being blind, right? I, w- I would think her outfit would mismatch or her makeup would be a little different. But that's the first Barbie that they're putting is the in the inclusivity is the bl- first blind Barbie. And then they have the black Barbie with Down syndrome. And I'm looking at this black Barbie with Down syndrome and it doesn't like what makes it <laughs> what makes it Down syndrome like. It just looks like a normal person Barbie. Like, what are you saying, Mattel, that uh, black people just have down? So what are you saying? Like, this looks like a normal Barbie. You know, I, I don't know what to what to think of you uh, and your, um, un, you know, like, are you racist? Are you, I don't know. Are you racist or are you against re- retarded? I, I, I don't know what, what you're trying to do here. But it just looks like a normal Barbie, you know, in my eyes. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't want to go any further without sounding bad. But uh, black Barbie with Down syndrome. I'm pretty sure they have white Barbie with Down syndrome. That's why they're introducing the black one. But, like, honestly, I don't see any Down syndrome at all. It just looks like a normal doll, you know. I, I don't know. I don't think they know what Down syndrome looks like, you know. I don't think they do. <laughs> That's pretty racist. It seems racist, allegedly. 
Uh, finally here, speaking of black or dark or whatever, uh, groundbreaking dark oxygen discovery may see history of life revised. So they're finding down deep in the ocean, 13,000 feet, 13,000 feet underneath the depth of the ocean floor. They're finding strange nodules uh, capable of producing oxygen in total darkness, which they're calling dark oxygen. And uh, uh, I don't know. This kind of reminds me of the oxygen that, you know, you breathe in Sonic whenever you're underwater and there's little bubbles. But then I don't know why we need to call it dark oxygen. Why does everything that's like, I don't know, like it just everything sounds racist now when you put black, like a black hole or uh, dark, dark oxygen. Everything just sounds racist when you use black or dark or brown or the N word. Uh, no, I don't know. Like everything, everything's just racist now. I don't know, but I'm not sure what they're supposed to use with this dark oxygen other than maybe using it to breathe uh underwater or using it for uh the darkies i don't know <laughs> i don't fucking know uh, i i hope um they give it a better name dark oxygen because again it just sounds whatever but um we'll just we'll just do uh we'll just yeah that's all funny guys <laughs> thank you for seeing the podcast it's all funny. It's all funny. We're podcasting. We're just like, that's all funny. Our podcast is all funny. Game. Talk about wrestling. Um, where that's all funny. Comes out on Monday. Uh, you can check out the YouTube channel. You can check out the YouTube channel. Slash Ad Lorenzo Ariola for video versions of this podcast, that podcast, and other stuff I do with uh, other videos I do, like one show I do with the wonderful Mint Salad called Tits and Ariolas, where we talk about a movie we watch, play a little game, it's fun. She's so hot, I'm a piece of shit, but it's worth it. Believe me, check it out. That's Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern, live on YouTube and X. If you want to just listen to it, just look for the podcast Tits and Ariolas with Mint Salad. And you can find it. Uh, check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash uh, Lorenzo Ariola. $5 a month gets you everything. Bonus episodes, early episodes, deleted episodes, etc. Help support the podcast. Get your name there. Uh, if you want to commission some art from a great artist, check out at Retro Horror Inc. on Instagram. He does all the art for the show. That's at Retro Horror Inc. Uh, I'm at Lorenzo Ariola on Twitter and Instagram. You can hit me up for merch, t-shirts, prints stickers i want to thank my patreon members for uh supporting like subscribe take care bye